Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Today we're going to talk about meta alloys. Old Professor Palin is at it again, asking for meta alloys to be delivered to James Snedden Station in the Morton Mart system. And for that, you will then be given, if you qualify, either a 4 or a 5A or 6A corrosive resistant cargo rack, which they say will be of much use in the following community goals to come. With that though, I thought we'd have a little look at meta alloys and what they're all about. Meta alloys are a key component in Thargoid ships and technologies, such as the interceptors and the scouts. The Thargoid structure extracts resources from a planet, i.e. the barnacle, and then converts them into meta alloys that are then seen growing like fruit would grow off a tree. Now, meta alloys are capable of counteracting the corrosive effects of Thargoid technology, Thargoid sensors. We've all seen it, you've picked up something, your hull starts to corrode, your systems go on and offline. Now, meta alloys have been in game since 3302, when they were first encountered at a barnacle site in the Marope system on planet 5C. This led then to more barnacle sites in surrounding areas to be documented by such groups as Canon Research. It wasn't long though, specifically around 3305, that some scientists in Elite Dangerous Law came out to express concern about the over-harvesting of meta alloys at the barnacle sites. And they theorized that this would soon leave to these barnacle sites not being able to produce meta alloys if they were over harvested. And true enough, in July the 4th, 3305, it emerged that harvesting meta alloys were in steep decline, and many known Thargoid barnacle sites were bereft and barren and become exhausted of meta alloys. Now, this caused a bit of a problem because these were used in the cargo resistant cargo racks and meta alloy hull enforcement. Now this over-harvesting and exploitation, you could say, of the barnacle sites led to pilots searching far and wide, even down to the California and Witch Head, where more sites were being found. Now, meta-alloys can be used to unlock engineers, or one particular engineer and various technology broker items. Now these items are going to be much sought after, especially in regards to unlocking such engineers as Felicity Farcia. You'll need 16 units to unlock the cargo resistant cargo rack, class 4. 16 units to unlock the meta alloy hull reinforcement. And 10 units to unlock the Thargoid bubble head, because we all like a good bubble head. Now this is all well and good, I hear you say, and it's great to have a little bit of lore on what's going on with the Thargoids. But how do you find these elusive barnacle sites? Well, a lot of the work has been done for you. As I've mentioned, organizations such as Canon Research have already done this, and I've got a website with a lovely page on there that will show you where the ripe barnacle sites are. Now, what do you mean ripe? Ripe offer better alloys ready for collection. You'll need an SRV, some cargo space has not got to be corrosive resistant cargo space and you can go and pick up these meta alloys. How do you do it? Couldn't be easier. So here are the steps you need to farm barnacles. Equip your ship, need cargo space, a Scarab SRV because it's got four tons of cargo space and an optional wake scanner. Can't find where your planet is? You're looking for cannon dot science slash codex slash ripe barnacles. Once you get close to that planet, it should reveal in the navigation pane, Thargoid barnacles. Now, Thargoid barnacles are what you need. Then you should be like, you know, a, a good couple there. Here I've got five. Sometimes you'll have a different varying of number. Depends on the planet. If you can't see any of that, you're either not close enough, or you can go and alternatively scan the planet. That will reveal all the other ground-based options you can go and visit. There'll be distress beacons and whatnot flapping around. Drop into cruise, go into your surface scanner, scan the planet up. And then 
then once that's been done, it'll reveal the Thargoid options and everything else on that planet. So that's step two. Step three, get yourself on the surface. Approach, get yourself a nice angle, find the barnacle of choice you're going to go and harvest. Keep an eye on what's going on around you as well, I would say. You know, our flowery fen friends, our space daisies, may well come and give you a bit of aggravation. If you're in flight, that will cut all power to your ship and you'll hit the ground like a sack of bricks. So, approach with caution, keeping an eye on what goes around. That's step three. Step four. Right, you found your barnacle. Great. Next up, find somewhere to land, not too far away as to maximize how many meta alloys and other materials you can harvest before having to return to your ship and empty the SRV cargo. Step four, get the old SRV out of the ship garage. Try not to hit too many rocks as you make your way across the landscape and approach your barnacle. Step four, here's the fun bit. Get the lasers out. Your SRV will be equipped with a cannon and as of a recent update and the release of the Scorpion SRV, the Scarab comes with four tons of cargo space. Be aware, there are loads of materials that you can use for engineering on this site in some of the other spires that have not developed into meta alloys. Iron, arsenic, chromium, phosphorus, amongst others, even tungsten, which I find is quite sought after. Locate the organic structure that's got the mining fragment or meta alloy on it. Get the lasers out, give it a good zap in, and then collect it. Now, from that point on, you can either return to your ship or reset the game, completely up to you, or you can carry on mining. Now, be warned, the Thargoids sometimes do show up, like they have done on this occasion. I was there, happily picking up all my materials, and then the Thargoids turned up. However, if you've only got a couple of spires there and you want to mine even more meta alloys, pop out to the main menu, go back into your instance, whether it's open, private, solo, let the game reload, and if you're lucky, it'll respawn the meta alloys yet again. One thing I do as well, sometimes I scan the spires just to see if there's any additional bonus or information you can get, especially off the main barnacle structure. But it then leaves you free to go and pick up that mining fragment. Don't forget to lower your cargo scoop before you pick it up. And once you've done that, you can then move on with your life. When I say move on with your life, you can get on with doing something else, like mining it all over again. Or if you are lucky or unlucky, depending on how you look at it, you may get a frame shift anomaly detected. This means the Thargoids have turned up, and it's well long been speculated that they're actually refueling or harvesting or seeding these barnacle sites. Or well, during the Paling Community Goal, this has been, you know, quite a regular occurrence. A huge old Thargoid turns up, shuts all the power down on your SRV and your ship. That way, that way, you know, if you're flying or taking off, got to be careful. Make sure you get a couple of boosts in before you can, if you're in your ship, or they shut you down, or you're going to hit that ground like a sack of potatoes. If you're too close as well, the gravitational field of the Thargoid will lift your SRV up into the air. If it does that, then prepare yourself for a bit of a ride. You'll be able to get some spectacular shots whilst being sucked up towards that alien orifice, along with any other materials that are floating around. If you've shot any spires and they've released materials, then the Thargoid will suck all that up, and you may well lose the lot. Here I am, I've been sucked up, and they've attempted to give me a good probing. But it'll soon release you and go on its merry way. That, in short, is how you mine meta alloys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Little bit of lore, little bit what they're all about, little bit how you find them, and 
step-by-step guide on how to complete this community goal and no doubt other community goals in the future. I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon.